Hey everybody, Coach Jason, I hope you're doing well. So the last video I talked over, I went over the qualifying standards for the 2021 Boston Marathon. Okay, so 2021, all the qualifying and entries are already closed for 2020, and even though it's been moved back from April to I think September, today I want to talk about the 2020 qualifying standards for the New York City Marathon. What you need to run to get into the New York City Marathon. I have put down below the qualifying standards for the Boston Marathon in the, in the videos. And I'm also going to put several training videos as well down below that can kind of help you tell you where you are um, and what you need to do to get to where you want to be or accomplish your goals. So let's go over this, okay? 2020 New York City Marathon qualifying standards. I have it broken down by age group and sex, okay? So for the 18 to 34 year age group for men, and the good thing about the New York City Marathon, where Mar the Boston Marathon it just has a, a marathon qualifying time. You have the ability to qualify with a half marathon or a marathon in the New York City Marathon. So there is more uh, versatility there, which is nice. Okay, So 18 to 34. For the men, you have to run a sub-253 marathon or a sub-121 half. Now, I'm going to make something clear. It's not. A, I don't mean 253.30 or 253.15. It has to be 253 flat or faster. And the same thing for the half marathon. It's got to be 121 flat or faster, not 121.10. There's a very, let's, let's be very specific there, okay? And now for the women, you have to run 313 flat for the marathon or, or a little faster for the marathon, or 132 flat for the half or under, okay? That's 18 to 34. 35 to 39 year old age group, 255 or faster, 255 flat or faster for the marathon for the men, and 123 flat or faster for the half marathon. For the women, 315 flat or faster for the marathon, 134 flat or under for the half marathon. 40 to 44 year old age group, okay, sub, uh, well, 258 flat or under for the men for the marathon, and 125 flat or under for the half marathon, okay. And for the women, 326 flat or under for the marathon, and 137 flat or under for the half marathon. 40 to 45 to 49 age group, 305 flat or under for the marathon for the men, and 128 flat or under for the half marathon. Okay, and for the women, 338 flat or under for the marathon, and 142 flat or under for the half marathon. And before I go any further, this is directly from the New York City Marathon website, so this is all accurate standards. Okay, I didn't make these up. These are right from the website. Okay, I just want to give you this information so that you don't necessarily have to navigate it. So this will help you. Uh, they'll give you information in the video. Okay, so let's go to the 50 to 54 age group. For the men, 314 flat or under for the marathon, 132 flat or under for the half. For the women, 351 flat or under for the marathon, 149 flat or under for the half marathon. 50 to 5 to 59 age group, 323 flat or under for the marathon, 136 flat or under for the half marathon. For the men, for the women, 14 flat or under for the marathon, and 154 flat or faster for the half marathon for the women. And last age group, 60 to 64, okay, 334 flat or under for the marathon for the men, and 141 flat or, or under for the half marathon for the men, and for the women, 427 flat or under for the marathon, and 202 flat or under for the half marathon. Now keep something in mind. If you've never run the New York City Marathon before, it is one of the more difficult marathons. It is a rolling 26.2 miles. I've done it. It is not easy. It's one of the most adrenaline pumped and awesome marathons in the whole entire world, but it is not easy. So it's important to, to design your training to simulate the course as much as you can. Okay. Now, training is individualized for everybody. Some people respond to high, high, some, uh, high volume, low volume. Some people need one workout a week, two workouts a week. It really depends on what works best for you. But the more you simulate the course, particularly in the long runs and, and maybe medium runs or tempo runs or workouts, the better off you're going to be, especially for the marathon. The last thing you want to do is train completely flat for 12, 16, 20 weeks and then not be ready for the hills because the hills do come back and bite you. And it's important to be ready for it, okay? Um, I have put down in the description down below too a sub four hour, a sub 330, and sub three hour, okay, uh, training plan. That'll give, it's broken down by 16 weeks. It'll show you exactly how to accomplish the goal of sub four, sub three thirty, and sub uh, three hours. I'm also going to put a sub one thirty. Um, actually, no, I'll put a sub two hour, sub one forty five, sub 
130 and a uh, sub 115 acumen hunt training program down below as well because they offer you the golf hunt training in terms of what to hunt for the half as well to get into the marathon. Um, so I'm going to put fully detailed training programs for them down below as well. Okay, um, so that will give you an idea of the type of stuff that needs to be done or that should be done to or stuff that you could maybe take a piece of and incorporate into your already training program or if you want something to follow you'll have options okay um, but it'll give you and these are all programs that I've used either myself or my athletes that I have a coaching I am a USATF certified uh, distance coach uh, you'll see it in my bio uh, I also coached at the high school collegiate and post collegiate level and competed at all three levels as well okay so um, I hope this was helpful. If you have feedback or questions of your own, put them in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to answer anything that you have. Okay, I do like to keep regular dialogue with well with my viewers and I like to know you guys as well as I know you learn from me. If you enjoyed the video, please click the thumbs up. And if you uh, are a runner or coach and just want more information about details, uh, training details, you want to see a lot of good videos that are everything from workouts and, or training programs from 5K all the way up to the marathon, injury prevention, and all different kinds of things, Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you'll have about several dozen awesome videos up there for you to click on. Okay, so um, I really appreciate your support and uh, be on the lookout for my next video because I'm going to go over the qualifying standards for the Chicago Marathon. Talk to you next time.